Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maca here playing Forza Motorsport 7. In this video, I will be showing you how to get the 250 achievement, which is for driving faster than 250 miles per hour in any car. Now for those in kilometers per hour, that equates to roughly 402 kilometers per hour. You should be able to grab this at any time by going to the free play and then going to the rent a car option and renting the 2011 Bugatti Veyron Supersport. I have verified that this is possible with other cars like the Koenigsegg Agera, the Hennessy Venom, Pagani Huayra, and the McLaren P1, but the Bugatti goes the fastest so it should be the easiest for you. Now under your race setup you'll want to go to the Le Mans Circuit de la Sarthe and then under the track options you'll want to pick the old Mulsane circuit which has the longest straightaway in the game. Then you'll want to change it to only one lap, a maximum of one drive avatar, and then go to your assists. You'll want to turn off your traction and stability as this allows you to reach a higher top speed even though it might be harder for some racers to get around some of the corners. Also if you know what you're doing and you're good enough you can go to manual transmission which should let you get an even higher top speed just a little bit faster. Now in Forza Motorsport 6 we also had the option of adding certain mods to our setup that would allow us to go faster. However, there have been some changes to the mod system, so this is as fast as you're going to go unless you want to buy the car, get upgrades, and then tune it on your own. Now you probably already assume that you know exactly what to do, but I would recommend you stick around for the rest of the video because there are some hints I will be giving you at the end that will be very important. However, what you're going to want to do is go through the track and then set yourself up for the straightaway about 30 to 40 seconds into the race. Now, obviously, I went a little bit off course, but that's fine as long as you have good grip and can get good speed through the corner into the straightaway. Now, we need to go at least 250 miles per hour, and with this car, I was able to get it up to 263 miles per hour quite easily. If I got a little bit of a better run into the turn and maybe tune this car, you could easily get it up to the 270s. You just want to apply full throttle to the car down the straightaway until you slowly reach that 250 mile per hour mark. Now you might imagine that this is where your achievement would unlock, but that is not the case. You do need to finish the entire race, which is why I advised you to set it to one lap. Additionally though, you need to make sure that you do not use any rewinds for the rest of the race or it will void and null all of your top speeds before that rewind. I'm not 100% sure if this is the exact factor, but I know that this was a problem in Forza Motorsport 6 and from my testing there were some issues when I used rewind. Anyways, just finish your lap. And then once you get to the post race, I actually did the achievement in the other car, the achievement should unlock for you. It is really that easy. Yes, you can rent a car. Yes, you can do it in free play. You can't use rewind and you need to make sure you do the right track setup and finish the race. Thank you guys so much for watching. Shout out to all the amazing people on Patreon for supporting the show. And hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Peace.